Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Romano, welcome back. Today we are going to paint this little study there. I was supposed to do a planar painting. Uh, I was uh, in uh, Menton, Ohio at the lighthouse, but uh, I wasn't able to do it because uh, the beach was closed. But I was able to take some picture and uh, I decided to do a small study and maybe in the future do a bigger one. And I wanna talk about my new painting medium, see if I can, here it is, oil painting medium gel from Gary Adam Studio. Uh, it's very, very, very good, you guys should check it out. I will post all the link for him down below. Okay, let's just stop talking, let's go to the video after the intro. So we start this painting and my palette is titanium white, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, burnt amber, magenta, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow light, and cadmium red light. So I'm gonna start with the blocking in and I'm gonna use for medium a first Gemsol. Now all the color that we put in my first coat, they're gonna be very, very fluid. That's why I use uh, uh, my turpentine. And in the second coat, I'm gonna use uh, this new medium gel formula from Gary Adam Studio. The, I will leave the, all the link down below in the description is this medium is amazing we'll talk later about it so now i'm starting put first all my dark you can see that my first uh, mixing was ultramarine blue and burnt amber that is the darkest that, ca that i can achieve the most dark and uh, i'm gonna just always make more easy my process painting all the dark and after I'll go with the middle tone in the first coat I'm gonna paint a lot of shapes looking at the picture that I, I took in Ohio I squint my eyes and uh, and try to see shapes don't think at all about uh, details. You can see here the picture. It was a beautiful day. I tried to uh, do a plain air, but they kicked me out because I guess I couldn't go. Uh, I think uh, they were tardo uh, laying the eggs. Yeah, I didn't know, so I got kicked out. But I took a beautiful picture. Now, now you see, now I'm going to start doing my middle tone and uh, I still won't go very light on the first stage of this painting. Like everything I see, I try to keep a little bit dark. So I put something, some of my dark and some of my middle tone. This helped me to see the different of value that I have in this picture. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to go very quick and uh, get all the paint in this canvas for the first coat. I'm not gonna focus much on the perfect color, but just on the value. In the second coat, I will go with uh, using no turpentine, using the gel medium and uh, get my paint with more pigment on the canvas. Now you see there all my mixing, I try to mix all my color near each other so I can see the difference in, on value. Make my job a little bit more easy. Now, the only detail I'll do at this stage is just the window, just to give me an idea 
update on what's going on, try to look for the perspective. I still can change in the second part of this painting. Now I'm going to start with the sky and I'm going to use a titanium white and cobalt teal. My paint is very fluid, still using Gamsol. Now this painting is a, I did this little painting because I'm gonna do a bigger painting on a 16 by 20, but sometime I will do a small painting or a study, if you wanna call, that will help me on the bigger painting. And there I will add a lot of details if they need it. But right now I'm just focus and see if this painting will work. Try to get the value right. Now I'm looking back and forth on the picture. And still squinting my eyes, try to stay pretty far from my canvas, look from far and get some paint in the canvas, try to do pretty quick, fill in all my canvas so I can start again and put the second coat on top of it if you need it, because some of them, some of this first coat may show on the final painting. And try to be very loose is a sunset I remember it was a beautiful beautiful sunset and this lighthouse there in Ohio mentor is five minutes from the Lake Erie you can see that I get some reflection there and there's some green from the tree now start getting some paint for these rocks my color is kind of more violet because some of the rock were kind of wet and uh, where they are wet on the top, if you look, they get the reflection from the sky, maybe a little bit more blue. So now, finally, I'm done with the first coat and that's my gel, my new gel that I tried for the first time in this painting. I'm very happy about it. Like I was usually use a liquid, but I'm gonna definitely go to this oil medium gel formula from GaryAdamStudio.com. The paint, the consistency is amazing. Dry pretty fast. The next day it's pretty fast, pretty dry. So that's what I'm gonna use from now on. As I say, I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You guys can can contact him, he's a, an amazing person. I was messaging with him and uh, he sent me a couple sample and I bought uh, very big tubes after this painting. I was very happy, the consistency is, is amazing, like perfect, very perfect. And you use a one part paint, uh, sorry, one part medium and three part paint. So I start with the second coat now, and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more paint on the canvas now. And uh, I'm gonna try to fix some color, some value. You see that went a little bit lighter on the, uh, the left side of the lighthouse. It went lighter even in the shadow side. And I start working with the rocks with the rocks, I'm gonna do the dark side, I'll do the middle tone and the highlights. 
So I'm putting some window on this lighthouse. You see, still, I'm, I'm pretty loose with all my brushwork because I don't want to put a lot of details on a, on this painting yet. Now, uh, I didn't say it, but the the paint that I have next to the titanium white on the right side is cold gray. I lose some of them, so it kind of gray out the tone. Usually I use uh, ultramarine blue and burnt amber and some white. My heading there is cold gray. I just add the paint, uh, get the saturation down very easy. So I start to define the forms and add some little details here and there. And you can see how the painting start to get some shape. And at this point I already knew that I was going to make a bigger painting because sometimes I get a picture or uh, I do a plein air and uh, I look, I come back home and see if I can get a, a full painting or not. Most of them I'll come home and, and I just leave it there. But this one, uh, at this point I already knew that I would do a final painting studio and bigger. So now I start with the reds. They were in the roof, this lighthouse. And uh, you can see that I apply the light. Now apply on the other side of the chimney, some dark. So everything is dark and light. I work with dark and light. You see now I add some dark on the water of the lake. And you will see me go back with some lighter tone So sometimes, you know, I prefer to do everything in plain air because you can really see the color. But uh, I kind of memorize and remember those colors because the picture will never give you the real color like in real life. That's why I change a little that you can see it's not perfect, the color, not the same on the picture. Plus, this is a painting, it's not a photo and the artist decide what he's gonna put in his canvas. I'm getting a couple speck of highlights here on the lake. And what I do with my brush is put down the paint that with this medium, the flow that it got, you see, I just touch a little bit of the medium and put in the paint and it's amazing how it stick on the first coat, how it's amazing. I got, you know, I was a little skeptical when I talked to him because usually I don't use a lot of medium. I use just Gamsol, sometimes liquid, but now with this uh, gel formula, Gary Adams Studio, from Gary Adams Studio, I really gonna use this medium because uh, make everything more easy for me. I gotta say a big thanks to Gary. Now I make all the dark again and uh, mixing ultramarine blue and burnt amber. And you can see that underneath those rocks is the darkest that I can get. So you see that I play with my dark and my light. Wherever I put the dark, I come back and do the middle tone or highlights. And I'm gonna try to don't add too many details, but I wanna make this painting at least uh, pretty decent. And more work I do with the studio paint, and easy gonna be for my final product on a bigger canvas.
I'm working on this tree, I want to leave it, this tree very loose. So I kind of paint first the shadow side, and I put some middle tone, and we put some highlights. And I want this tree just to stay there, on the right, very loose. And my focal point, there in the lighthouse, on the highlight, gonna stick it out a little bit more because if you start doing everything with details uh, the eyes gonna go all over the place so usually put more details only on your focus point if you don't want to paint something hyper realistic like some people that's what they do like sometimes I do some painting very realistic and I add a lot of um, details but this one uh, I think the light that was hitting this lighthouse the sunset, uh, that's, that was amazing. So that's what I'm trying to capture. And you cannot see it from the picture because it was the yellow, yellowish color. I remember like it was yesterday. So I'm fixing a little bit the sky. And you can see that it's an angle kind of to the, the kind of um, clouds. And you can see that goes on an angle, and still those angles kind of line that gonna get your eyes go to the highlight of the of the building. I'm start adding some little details on the top of the lighthouse. Now I could have put more details and work more and make it perfect, but um, I kind of did this painting like if I was out in the field and do a plein air, and I would do, I would have did the same, same thing. Like I don't put a lot of details, just put the color, some form. I'm probably next time I go to Ohio, try to do a plein air and see, because plein air is all another uh, experience. Different experience, I love to play out. Painting outside is, everybody should try. Some people don't like, I wasn't liking at the beginning, but now I love it. So you can see that from the first coat and the second coat, the color, they were pretty much the same. I just got lighter with some, or darker with the other one. And uh, now you can see last detail, I have a, Lots of paint, not a lot of medium. Try to put more texture, and that's what people want to see, uh, what they love in a painting, but you want to put texture at the end and only in the highlights, usually. All my dark and shadow, they are very fluid paint and my very light highlights usually almost full paint you see I'm grabbing there like straight white from there now a couple more detail there in the it was a little that's where the light is it was a beautiful red light I change a little bit this painting because uh, I put the little uh, small fences. You could see it from the new fence that they put now. They are very um, modern, but I want to keep it like this uh, old style and look pretty nice. End up good. I can wait to do a bigger painting. It was a beautiful experience. All right, guys, it was an amazing experience. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of fun. I hope you guys too. If you have any question, please leave me a comment below. And uh, really, check this medium because it's amazing. You can check my website at gmamanoart.com. I'm going to put all this link down below. See you later. Ciao.